Hey everyone, my name is Marcella Dominguez and I welcome you back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the red button down below so you can learn everything there is to know about trademark law. I always say in my YouTube videos that you are definitely going to learn more than you knew before you started watching. I guarantee it. So make sure that you also give me a thumbs up and tell me what one of your best take home points was. In today's video, I am talking about whether a tagline is necessary for your business. Do you need a tagline in order to sell things? Is it better for business to have a tagline or a slogan that basically tells people or implies what your mission is or the kind of products you sell or what kind of experience they're going to have as they enter your website or they visit your brick and mortar store? So give me a thumbs up down below or tell me which of your favorite taglines is on this list. So stay tuned if you want the answer or you want to find out what I have to say about whether a tagline is going to serve your business well. Okay guys, so we're going to play a little game here. I am going to read off some taglines and I want you to tell me which business it belongs to. Chances are you're going to recognize these big brand, big box stores. Now, some of these taglines you have heard over and over and over again, either in advertisements, marketing, um, TV commercials, radio ads, and that is where you are going to hear taglines predominantly. Sometimes they're written across sweatshirts, across t-shirts. Um, they're on people's websites, but you see them through the marketing aspect uh, of these big box companies businesses. So let's play a game. I'm gonna read these taglines or slogans and then you're going to tell me in the comments below who it belongs to, okay? And tell me if you got one out of 10, two out of 10, and how many you got right. America runs on Duncan. Please tell me you know who this belongs to. America runs on Duncan. Now if you guessed Dunkin' Donuts, then ding, ding, ding. America runs on Duncan has been one of the most popular slogans or taglines that I can think of. I've been hearing that for a really long time, ever since I saw a Dunkin' Donuts commercial on TV. And I'm pretty sure that everyone does run on Dunkin'. Now, just do it. Just do it, I have seen everywhere. I've seen it on t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweatpants, backpacks, uh, duffel bags. Um, please, help me out. Tell me in the comments where else you've seen Just Do It. Just Do It belongs to if you guess Nike, then ding, 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 you are correct. So you can see that through American Runs on Duncan and Just Do It, I mean, slogans and taglines can be really, really powerful. They can, they resonate with people, especially when you've been using them for a really long time. Now let's get to number three. Um, oh, one of my favorite. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Not in your hands. Melts in your mouth, not in your hands. Listen, I don't really care if it uh, melts, but listen, this is this chocolate is so good. It used to be one of my favorite chocolates ever. It melts in your mouth, not in your hands. So if you guess that it belongs to M&Ms, then ding, 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 you are right. Tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite chocolate. I would say my favorite chocolate right now is probably the Hershey's dark chocolate. I just really like dark chocolate right now. And Christmas season is coming up and if you can make a hot chocolate bomb filled with marshmallows and the outer shell made of dark chocolate, then it's a win-win. Number four. This one is a little bit more tricky. Bet you can't just eat one. Bet you can't just eat one. Now who does that belong to? I'll give you a hint. It is chips, potato chips. Bet you can't just eat one. Now that belongs to Lay's. So what do you think about these? Do you, like as I'm reading these off to you, what is your feeling? Do you feel like you should have one too? Something that really catches on and really something that customers can latch onto over time and say, oh, I know exactly what company that belongs to. Or do you think it's not necessary? You know, lots of my clients actually just start off with either a logo or their company name and that's what they decide to register but people who have you know lots of ip assets like a slogan a tagline uh, and a company name and maybe even various slogans they will choose to register all of them so big companies like nike i mean can you even guess how many trademark applications they have 
it's a lot. It's a lot of applications. Also, McDonald's has a lot of applications. The Kardashians have a bunch of applications. And so I think there's this misconception that you should only register one or that you you might only have two or three. I mean, no, you these numbers can go up to the hundreds. So as long as you're using it in commerce, which is always going to be a requirement, then you can register your slogan or your tagline. So let's see what the next one is and whether you got it right. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Now this one should be easy too. It belongs to cover girl. Now you can choose to use the name of your company inside your tagline if you want to. You know, Nike doesn't do that, um, but obviously cover girl does do that. Um, Dunkin' Donuts does that. American runs on Dunkin'. So if you want to, then there's an idea for you. See, here's another one that does it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Now that just, that kind of rolls off the tongue nicely. Maybe it's Maybelline. It's kind of sounds like a play on words. Maybe Maybelline, they kind of sound like each other. But anyway, my point is, is that if you want to use your company name inside your slogan or tagline, then you can do it. The few, the proud, the Marines. The few, the proud, the Marines. Who does that belong to? The US Marine Corps. Again, another example of them using the, I mean, it's not a business name necessarily, but the Marines using the word Marine within their slogan or tagline. Now listen, I'm gonna be a little bit playful here and tell you that every single one of your IP assets is worth protecting because it's worth it. It's always worth it to protect an IP asset either because you think someone's gonna take it out from under you. Now it's always worth it to protect your IP assets either because you think someone's gonna steal it because you, it's so catchy that you think um, onlookers are gonna want to register it first thereby putting you in a predicament in the future or you might want to register it because it it's emotional and it's like sentimental for you you've worked on it for a really long time and there's no way you're letting it go um, other people register it because I, having IP assets is really, really important to them. So down the road, they plan to have all those IP assets nicely protected within their little portfolio so that they can present those in the future to a potential buyer if they plan on selling their company. So there are lots of different reasons why having IP assets, which would include your slogans and your taglines, are really important. Let's see, I'm gonna read you one last one. I love these, Nap. The quicker picker-upper. I think the song goes the quilted, quicker picker upper, bounty. Do you guys use bounty towels? Okay, well if you guessed bounty, then you are correct. So this is obviously a company that did not choose to use the word bounty within their slogan or tagline. But do you need a slogan or tagline for your business? Well, that is only something that you, my friend, can answer because it is not a requirement to have a slogan or tagline for your business, but does it make, you know, having a business more fun? Does it mean that consumers, you know, it doesn't mean that you could make a catchy commercial or radio ad in the future, or, you know, can you just use a lot of creativity when it comes to marketing your business if you have a slogan or tagline? Well, of course, the quilted quicker picker upper bounty or American Runs on Duncan, or just do it. I mean, people are gonna display these things when they're walking around, they're going to be your advertisement. So instead of paying for marketing, you can put your slogan or your tagline on your products, and then people will actually sell the brand for you because people are gonna be looking at these slogans and taglines. But you have to make sure that you use them properly in order for them to get registered. So it's not like, oh, I'm gonna choose this really cool slogan or tagline, I'm gonna slap it across a t-shirt and call it good. It doesn't necessarily work that way. So make sure that you watch the other videos in my channel where I talk about how to properly use your trademark, your slogan, your tagline, uh, so that you don't get into any trouble and you're doing things right from the get-go, or you can always scroll down into the description. Make sure you schedule a consult and we can help you out. Now, okay, I lied, so I'm gonna do one last one. Obey your thirst. Now listen guys, if I am going to drink Coca-Cola products, this is going to be the drink that I'm gonna drink. Obey your thirst. If you guess Sprite, then ding, 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 you are correct. So if you're somebody that's wondering whether or not you should have a tagline for your business or a slogan, then 
you know, it's totally up to you. It is not a requirement, but it does make advertising more fun. It does give you the potential to put it on products and have people advertise the brand for you. And it does increase your IP assets so that your IP portfolio is a little bit fatter than just having one. And if you're somebody who's interested in having investors come on board, then protecting these IP assets is going to be very important. So I wanna make clear that having a slogan or tagline is registrable and it is possible. So if you have any questions about that process and making sure that you're actually using the slogan and tagline in the proper way, make sure you scroll down into the description and send me an email because remember that sending me an email is always free. Until the next video, I invite you to give me a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe.